A lot of streaming tutorial content, my own included, assumes that you have a high-end streaming PC. How to get the highest resolution out of your webcam, capture card, and so on. While this benefits quality, I don't see a lot touching on how to really optimize the nitty gritty details of a streaming setup to use less CPU load or generally be more resource efficient. We're going to tackle optimizing your webcam today, although this will also sort of apply to capture cards as well. Let's jump in. Tired of hiding behind giant microphones during your live streams or videos? Say hello to the Mod Mic and the XLR Power Converter. This flexible, high-quality microphone attaches to your headphones and gives you the freedom you deserve. The XLR Power Converter makes it work with your existing professional audio setup for even more flexibility. Check it out with the link in the video description. I'm going to be tackling a few points with this video, starting with the simpler stuff and working up to a more technical point with decode formats and things like that. The goal is to reduce overall system load required by using a webcam and reduce the impact it has on your stream quality. Firstly, just make sure you're using enough light with your webcam in the first place. The more light you have, the cleaner your image can be, and the less compensation it has to do or the driver has to do to make the image and footage look good, especially if you're using a green screen. This will help keep your webcam smooth and looking high frame rate, which is a problem a lot of people struggle with. Also, consider using a designed background instead of chroma keying at all. While it has been trendy recently to chroma key yourself into a, your game stream, it takes a lot of system resources to chroma key and a well-crafted setup to get to the right place in the first place, it, otherwise it looks bad. Having a decent looking background physically behind you can add a lot more character to your face cam shot and help you stand out. Another big point is to not run your webcam at its highest resolution. This is especially key if you're streaming. If you are streaming, your viewers aren't going to see a crisp, clean 1080p image anyway, so there's no reason to run your camera at the highest resolution most of the time. If you're scaling your webcam down for a tiny face cam preview already, that is do extra work that your CPU has to do for no reason. In your video capture device properties in OBS Studio, tell the webcam to come in at a lower resolution, 720p, 480p, maybe even 360p, and that scaling is done mostly within the webcam itself, saving you system resources and USB bandwidth. Hell, in most cases you can even set the webcam to a 4x3 aspect ratio as well, as you usually don't need a super widescreen view of your room, and most people crop off the sides anyway. 640x480, 480x360, and so on. You might even discover that your webcam can support higher frame rates at lower resolutions. That's always a fun bonus. Some webcams support 60 FPS at low resolutions, which will keep it looking smooth with your stream. If you're streaming at 60 FPS, that is. If you're game streaming and running your games on one of the new high refresh rate monitors, such as 120 Hertz or 144 Hertz, that kind of thing, that can cause some performance issues with webcams while streaming. While it might suck for you to have to do, usually you can give your viewers the best possible viewing experience by limiting your monitor to 60 hertz in your graphics driver settings while you're streaming. Then you can flip it back over when you're gaming for yourself. A more technical thing is to look at the available decode format of your webcam. This also applies to your capture cards, though they usually have different decode formats available. Formats like H.264 and MJPEG are very compressed, designed to operate on the lowest possible USB bandwidth, and then they require your CPU to decode them before adding them to your scene in OBS, and then re-encoding with the stream. And some webcams don't even work with the H.264 format in Windows 10 anymore. These formats are solid if you're trying to use multiple webcams on one PC and need to optimize for available USB bandwidth, but they need a fast CPU to handle multiple webcams. If your device supports the YUV, YUY2, or NV12 modes, this is a more uncompressed feed, which requires more bandwidth, but is much less CPU intensive to decode and add to your stream. Not all webcams support this, but those that do will benefit greatly from this mode. They might look a little bit better as well. This applies to capture cards as well. RGB decode format looks the absolute best, but is both bandwidth and CPU resource intensive to use, and usually not worth it. So there you go, here's some optimization tips for squeezing the most resources out of your streaming setup with regards to webcams and video devices. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more tech education. Consider contributing on Patreon to keep content like this going. I'm Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and I'll see you in the next one.